Hello YouTubers, you're watching Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to animate and then export an animated GIF in Adobe Photoshop. Now this is a frame by frame animation, very simple, nothing too fancy and I've already got the design here on the right. So we've got the BG background layer and then the three frames of my design that I've obviously labeled one, two, three. Very easy for me to remember just so I don't get confused. Now the size of this banner is 300 pixels wide and 250 pixels high and I'm just going to switch on the background layer and it looks like this. Exactly the same background across all three frames. So then for frame one, if I switch that on, you'll see that we have the unlimited music distribution frame and then I can switch that off and switch on frame two, release unlimited music and then finally frame three. So that's the price. So these are the three different frames. I'm just going to move this up because for some reason it's moved down. There we go. Okay. It's nice and central. I'm happy. Cool. Anyway, so we've got those three frames. Now I recommend when you come to animate, it's always good to organize them in folders like this and you can number them and name them just so you know what order they're going to play in. So this way I know that number one is going to go first, and then it will move to number two, and then to number three. Once you've got these all in separate folders, all the layers inside separate folders, it makes it very easy when we come to animate. So let's say that I'm ready to animate now. So I'm going to switch on my first frame there. I'm ready to go. Go up to window at the top, down to timeline. Now if you don't see this, this is the frame animation timeline. If you do get this version of the timeline come up. That's absolutely fine. That is another way you can animate. We're not going to be doing that in this tutorial. But if you click down here in the bottom left on the three squares and it says convert to frame animation, it will convert it to something like this. Now what we can do is we can click the new frame button here and it will duplicate that frame. And then with the first one selected, that's all fine. We've got folder one on. If we then click on the second frame, we're going to switch off folder one and switch on folder two. And then on the third frame, we'll select that and we'll switch off folder one and switch on folder three. So what we should be able to do now is click through the three frames and it will scroll through our animation. Now we can hold down shift if we like, or do this individually and select multiple frames. And then where it says a time here in a little arrow, you can click this and specify how long each frame is going to show for. And you can also select other, and I could type in three seconds. So when the animated GIF plays, each frame will show for three seconds, and then it will move on to the next one. You can also specify here whether the GIF will play once, three times, or it will just keep looping forever, or you can specify another value. You can also delete frames here if you like. And then what we can do is we can go to the beginning and click play and it will play through our animation. So there we go. That's the second frame and then the last frame. So once you've got everything animating and you're ready to export, you can then go up to file down to export, save for web and we'll click that. Make sure that GIF is selected at the top here. You can zoom in on this preview. So this is a preview of how your GIF will look. So depending on how many different colors you've got in your GIF, I've got uh, lots of different colors here. I've got logos of different brands. I've got the red, the blue. So I want to set the colors nice and high. So 256 colors is the maximum that you can have in a GIF. Of course, if you reduce the colors, depending on the colors used in your design, you may see a reduction in quality. Okay, so going down to four there, that's quite extreme. But as you can see, we bring it up to eight colors. That's not very many colors being used to reproduce all these different colors from the brand logos in particular. So if you can, keep this at 256 colors. You will get the best visual result. Obviously, you just need to be careful with file size. GIFs, you'd ideally have them very light, so they load very quickly. 
and you can see here the approximate file size of 36.4 kilobytes on the left hand side. Now we don't want any transparency because this design doesn't have any transparency. And these other options all look absolutely fine to me. Lossy. Now this is a way that you can reduce the quality. So if you do need to get the size of your GIF down, you can bring this up. You'll see here that the estimated file size is going down. But as you can see, the further I go up, the quality of the image starts to get to get pretty terrible. So because 39.69 kilobytes is absolutely fine for this banner, let's leave that all the way at zero just so we've got maximum quality. And again, you can set the looping options here as well. And then when you're done, you can click save, specify a file name and a location, and then it will save to that place on your computer. And there we go. That is how you animate a GIF and then export a GIF in Adobe Photoshop. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I will see you next time.